Hello guys, welcome to the Indian Review Channel. Uh, today I'm going to review a classic gaming console. Uh, it has all the games from the 80s and 90s. Uh, it's basically a unofficial version of it. Uh, it looks like a NES and it has got over 620 games. So I'll show you all the games that are there. Coming to this, this is the adapter, which has got a USB B type port. can see the uh, voltage and the amperage uh, now along with the charger there's a, uh, a video audio input cable uh, the cable is fairly long it's almost uh, 1.5 meters uh, this is the main console it's very light it exactly is a knockoff of the NES Nintendo Entertainment Entertainment System. And front, you can see the power and reset. It's completely made of plastic. On the back side, you have the audio video uh, output and the DC input. In front, you have the port for two controllers. So basically, you can play multiplayer with two people. And over here are the two control pads which is again is a replica of the original NES the buttons are quite good and the build quality is for the price it's very good by the way I got this for around 1000 1000 Indian rupees uh, from AliExpress and here's a list of the games If you want to see the games, just pause and see the list. I personally have not played all of them because it, I, I do not have the time to check all of them, but I believe they have given 620 games. And this is the basic uh, instruction manual. Now I've already plugged in the cable uh, at the back of my TV and I'm going to start it up. See the moment I start up it's detecting audio video in input. As you can see the list. Uh, uh, the all the games that I've tried till now, uh, many are original, many are uh, complete knockoff and ripoffs, clones. Uh, my favorite that was Mario. I could not find the original version of Mario, but they have all kinds of uh, replica version of. of it. But some of the games like Contra, I'll show you the games. They're fairly original. The only problem with this is you cannot reset or go back to the menu using the control pad. You have to press the reset button on the console. So you have to sit close to it every time you want to go back to the menu and play some other game. Now look at this Mario. It's it's a what do call the duplicate version of the Mario game. It's not that bad, but I I, I really enjoy playing. I'm going to play 5-6 games and you can watch the gameplay.
There are many repetitions of the game. Like this game is, I believe it's in Japanese. So maybe whatever game they found, they just you know, copied and pasted over here. To be honest, I've never even played some of the games in my childhood. I've played very limited. So I don't know exactly whether these are original or complete knockoffs. You tell me guys in the comment. I got this console for a thousand bucks from AliExpress directly. Uh, I have searched this console in my local electronic market. Uh, some of them charge 1500 to 2000 rupees. I mean, it says Mario and it's showing frog prints. It's kind of a, it's kind of misguiding. It's uh, although it's uh, it's. Not Mario, it's still fun to play. I believe they directly copied the whole level and replaced the characters. The control is quite good. Is that I just suck at playing it. The response time there's no delay in it. I don't know what language is that. I think it's Japanese, but I could be wrong. I have no idea what they're saying. I'm just trying to skip it.
I'm just playing one round of the games and showing you a quick demo. So if you want to, uh, you know, enjoy this kind of games from the old days, uh, you can certainly get a hold of this console. I mean, for the price, it's definitely worth buying. And if you have you know, kids or a younger brother or sister, you can definitely give them as a gift if they are into this kind of retro games. So anyway, guys, if you like the uh, like this video, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.